If you're running advertising on Facebook for your pizzeria, restaurant, or local business, make sure to apply these two critical items I'm gonna go over with you. Hi, my name is Leo. I have a digital marketing company, Digital Track, and we run advertising for local businesses to obviously help them increase their awareness in the local market and with the purpose, of course, to increase the bottom line of income for that business. So over here, I'm going to be using Vicinus Pizzeria as an example. Uh, this is a screenshot I took from a newsfeed on Facebook. And I know it's an ad because it's a sponsor, right? The ad is very, you know, it's more, it seems more as a uh, uh, brand awareness type of ad, meaning, hey, you know, uh, this is us. We're here. This is what we offer. Seems that they put an emphasis on pepperoni items. Um, and then there's a picture. Uh, the picture, of course, could be much better quality. Um, but yeah, let's use them as an example. I'm not endorsing this, they're not endorsing this. Uh, they're not paying me to talk about them. Uh, this is a pizzeria here in Fairfield. Uh, uh, this is just merely to uh, pure education purposes, right? And that's not nothing against them. It's just merely, mainly for pure education and purposes. Uh, I also went into their ads library to see what other ads they're currently running. And I can see they're running right this ad over here, again, mostly to create brand awareness and uh, with uh, some picture slides about their items. I do notice they have a link to the to, to their website. And one of the critical items I want to point out is that when you're running advertising is that you have code installed on your website. It's called Pixels, right? Pixel code that will allow whatever platform you're using to advertise, in this case, Facebook, to be able to gather data about your website visitors. And the reason why is because if you are putting money into that platform, you want that platform to be able to have access to the data of visitors that come to your website. That, that will allow that platform to um, be able to know your customers a lot more better. So when they do um, put an ad in front of random people, they will have the data to understand, okay, this random people is very similar to people that visited their, this business website, people that already know this business website. Facebook knows a lot, a lot of information about us as consumers, about us as users on Facebook. So they have great information about us that they are able to match us, right, based on our profiles and, and attitudes. Um, they are able to match us to compare to other similar people that already visited, for example, the Cine Pizzeria and, and likes the Cine Pizzeria. So that's one way that uh, what is important, why it's important to allow uh, coding or the use the coding of the platforms that you're currently advertising on. Uh, another critical item is because when you um, advertise on, on, on a platform, you can do what is called Remarketing. For example, at Facebook, you can just target people. You can just show your ads to people that already visit your website. And that's important because when you have a special that you want to show just to, to an appreciation to customers, that are, to your existing customer, obviously people that visited your website, they already know you, like you, and trust you, or already know, know you, right? And so those are people that are much easier to um, capture their attention and get it to visit because they... they they more likely already know you. If they visit your website, they probably already like you, right? They probably, and they probably already trust you, right? They probably already trusting customer if they already visit your website. Another example, why you want to do that remarketing portion is, let's say you just want to uh, ramp up your catering business. You want to show ads specifically to people that are interested in your catering. One, people that are people that are already interested in your catering, one example, right? Is people that already visit your catering page. But guess what? Um, Google or Facebook are not going to know who visited your credit, your catering page because you do not have installed the code necessary to um, allow those platforms to know who did that already. And so um, basically here you are, you have to just blast information to everybody. I'm supposed to be a little bit more efficient, right? And just show the ad specifically to people that already visited you. Uh, plus, but what better way to get those uh, existing customers to return by continue to put uh, they continue for you to stay in front of them and uh, could be, you know, providing offers uh, to them. Uh, that is much better to do than just, uh, that just, that is much better to do than just uh, uh, 
try to gather the cold market, right? So it's, it's much better to invest into the, your warm market, meaning people already know you, like you, and trust you, because those are people that already know you, like you, and trust you. Uh, those are much more likely to come back as long, right? You have been providing great service, great food. They like you. Uh, those are much. Those are people that are much more easier for them to uh, to get them to come to your store than uh, just showing the ads to cold audience all the time. Um, so that's the critical part that I wanted to show. Uh, here's an example of one of my clients, right? We have the codes installed, so we know. We have those platform gathering information about those visitors so that whenever we have ads specialized just to people that already visit our website or already know you know us like and trust us, um, we we you know that's that 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 information that we already have. Plus, uh, Google Analytics is a, a great platform that is able to allow you to see some inform a lot of information about people that visit your website as well, right? You can see how many visitors you have per month and things you can improve in a, on a page. Um, if there's a page you didn't know that people like to visit a lot, you can obviously always go back to that page and make it a lot better since people are already using it a lot. Um, so that's all for today. If you have questions about how to go and set up the Google Pixel information or how to use uh, online advertising on Facebook, Google, YouTube, um, or how to um, understand a little bit more about your marketing, let me know. You can visit digitaltrack.co and you'll see my contact information there. That's my cell, so you can call me, text me, and below my um, email and social media handles. All right, have a good one. Bye.